Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of my Black Ops 6 campaign playthrough. The second mission is the Rook Arrival. Adler set up shop in a former KGB safe house on the Black Sea coast. Wouldn't be my first pick for a base of operations, but here we are. Now Chase and I are off to recruit. Now there are some operator perks here. Weapon, bench, training area and gear station. Not entirely sure what they are for or what they do but we will find out during the course of the video so please stay to the end and if you do get any value or enjoy today's content please consider subscribing to the channel we're fast approaching 2k subs and we'd love to have you here on the channel but without further ado we are going to get into this and just to let everybody know i am playing this on pc on game pass so this is indeed the pc version but i think i've put that in the title regardless but just letting you know that before we move forward so there's no uh sort of confusion uh, about the graphics and stuff if you are checking this out to see how the game looks and whatnot um i do not have a playstation or a playstation copy to hand or an xbox so here we are let's go bishop takes rook of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called The Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left the name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savadi Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but her lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. So I will say straight off the bat, the graphics on this game are a massive step up on Cold War and I really do feel that they've knocked it out of the park graphically. Um, I know them two are talking, but I'm just having a little bit of a route around here just to see if there's anything of value to loot. Oh, hey up. Oh. We've got a black light. We've got a piano, toggle black light. Let's have a look. Ooh, what's this? I have no idea what that means, but it's pretty interesting. Let's see. Pizza Woods. So there are little bits of secrets knocking about within the levels and Easter eggs and whatnot. So we can use the black light, it would appear. It would be interesting to see what little secrets are knocking about, but we are going to press on hmm. with the main story here. What's going on, man? What else can you tell me about the person I'm meeting? You dig up everything else about Bundy and Wood seems a bit pissed. Just what we found in Adler's files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Appears she was raised through the Guild and then exiled or left don't know whatever it is Adler was interested so 
I am too. Nice. I think they've done a phenomenal job with the skin textures and the lighting this time around also. I think the game looks really, really well polished. What's that in his hand? He's got a little knife, has he? All right. What kind of life savings you got? That a boy. Garpe fucking deal. Well, guess what? If we're really doing this, we've got to get financially creative. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team, I'm thinking overhaul. An armory, place to train, gear bench, not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free, though. Okay. It's looking like we are going to be upgrading the base of operations. Quite an interesting concept. I will say also, the graphics these days on these games is pretty much... I remember back in my younger years, many moons, of, <laughs> many moons ago when the dinosaurs ruled the Earth, that graphics like this were only ever seen in cutscenes. And it's kind of crazy in 2024 that we are playing games that look indeed that level of fidelity. So we've got an evidence board here. I don't know if this activates anything. So it's looking pretty much like We got Bishop Tex Rook Blood Feud. So are we actually on a mission or is this just the base of operations here? Just tell me where you want to spend the cash and I'll set it up. We're obviously gonna go with the weapons bench to begin with. I feel that that would be the wisest option. kind of cool that they're moving like the furniture and stuff like that and setting it all up. It's pretty dope actually. So we're going to go and check out the weapons bench here. So let's have a look. Extra mags, steady stance, quick cans, armor shredder, hip fire, marksman, Steady aim. We've got quite a lot of options here. Uh, we will do steady stance to be removed. Weapon recoil, I feel, is always a good investment. So there we go. Now, moving from here, the best of operation. Let's just take a little look at this. I mean, that is stunning, right? A good time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. So I think what we're going to do is possibly just move on to the next mission. We will keep it all in this video. Um, I do believe that this is just an opener or a prelude to the base. And that's about it, really, where we're going to be obviously upgrading, selecting our missions and whatnot. So we're going to go on to the evidence board now. I'm pretty sure the bishop takes rook is there. So yeah, blood feud. So indeed, I did think that the title for this video would be um, the rook, but obviously that is just the name of the base of operations, it would appear. So we do get a sticker for multiplayer. Uh, kill an assassination target with a throwing knife or blood feud. So we do get little, little mini submissions. And challenges. I much intel on Savati Dumas, but I can tell you a thing or two about Avalon. It's a playground for the filthy rich. The crime factions run the whole city. Everyone's looking for who to push off the slide. When they pick a target, they hire someone like Savati. She used to be part of the guild, one of the most powerful Avalon factions, but now she freelances. Savati said that Adler hired her to follow a Pantheon trail. So you're gonna join her on that job tonight. We want to see firsthand where that trail leads. Maybe we'll even add some muscle to the team. You'll scratch her back, but sure as hell watch your own. Trust is gonna be earned.
I really can't get over how nice the graphics are on this game. I think they're doing a really good job. And the audio's phenomenal as well. Hello, Case. Check under the phone booth. His name is Yannick, a broker for the guild. He'll be on his yacht tonight taking a call with the Pantheon. We'll be listening in. Once that call is finished, you'll finish Yannick. That'll draw the target I really want. But first things first. The bell tower on that church offers an open view of Yannick's yacht. He's throwing a party while his men count money in the church. It's looking like we may have to set the church over and possibly snipe here. Yannick traffics in weapons, narcotics, women. Whatever pays. Rumor has it the Pantheon wants a relationship with the guild. So Yannick is testing the waters. He's only our first domino. The real fun starts after we knock him down and get access to the target I really want. Johannes Edi. Mm. Close enough to know if you screw this up. Okay. Let's see what you're made of, Case. Get to the bell tower. I don't care how. Quiet, loud, just get there. Decent knife work. You could go for a swim. Avoid some guards. You little gra graphical glitches there with the water. Don't know if that's exclusive to PC or not. We could go through the water, she's saying. I mean, maybe that's an option. Really don't understand what's going on with the graphics there. I do apologize for that. Once we listen to Yannick's call and confirm a Pantheon lead for Adler, I'm declaring open season on the guild. They have it coming. I should know. I used to work for them. I never cared for Yannick's parties when I was with the guild. Though they were good practice in how to blend into a scene. Any girl who caught Yannick's eye was in for a long night. So let's cut his short. The question is, which way do we go? Throw a noisemaker tranquilizer trap. That is not good. We may have messed this up already. We'll see how this goes. How it plays out. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to be going in quiet, but nevertheless, here we are. Windows are open. Could climb up to the second floor. See what gunny has got. Compact 92. We'll give this a go. We didn't really do the best. Oh, damn. Ooh, nice. I'll pick up the money. It's obviously going to come in handy for the base of operations. Make our way upstairs. I've got to say, the campaign feels really strange with the Omni movement. Quite interesting though, it does add another dimension of gameplay. That we've never experienced before. Uh, what is this? AMS 85. This looks like a baller gun. Let's go. So we will have to try these missions at some point in complete stealth, I think. I think it would be possible with the equipment that they've given us. We need to get up on the second floor. I'm not entirely sure how we do that. Possibly up here.
There might be a second set of stairs here somewhere. Let's have a look. Janet's expecting a call from Pantheon any minute. So rotate lock. Guards are close. Do it quick. There we go. This morning I stashed the rifle at the top of the tower. Remember, Case, don't pull the trigger until we hear his call. We need to confirm any connection to Pantheon. Okie dokie. Yannis near the umbrella. Upper deck left side. Surrounded by girls. <sighs> Got your advance. My boys are still counting it. It's all there. Remember, this deal is one and done, huh? Don't need to get mixed up with the CIA or your pantheon thing. You'll send the hardware tonight, understand? That's not what we agreed to tonight, Yannick. Don't test me. So the pantheon and the CIA are connected somehow. We got what we need. Take the shot. Oh, that is sick. Nice. Let's go. Woods was right. You are a good shot. Yannick was just our first domino. We have more work to do tonight. Head back towards the payphone. I'll pull up in the white van. Okay, let's go. Guards inbound. Word on Yannick got out. We're going to have a fight now, happens here. By the look to it. Make our way out. Bit of sniper action here. Goddamn enemies. In true Call of Duty fashion, they do not miss. See if there's any more money knocking around. Go, baby. Let's go, Keith. Let's go, baby. Hey, turn it down. That's Gabriel up there. He's cool. They called an emergency meeting at Chateau de la Haute Lune. Three guild leaders will be in attendance to smooth things over with Pantheon. I want to get paid, so we're going to crush that party. Nice. Let's go. Chateau de la Haute Lune. Let's go. The guild will lock the restaurant down and meet in a safe room on the second floor. The door can only be unlocked from the inside. You're going to help me get that door open. We're a few minutes out yet. Just enough time to get changed. Fits for guild security. Nice. Personally, I want these guild bastards dead. Pantheon's the only cake for me. This is my stop. Get to the safe room's antechamber on the second floor. An alarm will go off. That's okay. The guild doesn't know you. So your best option is to surrender and play along. When you get inside, wait for my cue. Nice. 
So this is where we kind of assign our equipment and whatnot. Uh, let's go with silence pistol and perhaps compact. Let's go. If there's anything else around here we can use. Restaurant, safe room, kingpin. Pretty nice that we get all this sort of uh, intel and whatnot. Pretty cool. The guild is meeting Pantheon right now. Get inside and find the safe room. Of all the guild assholes meeting tonight, the Sadie is the biggest. If we can't get them, consider me a no for your little club. The question is, how do we get inside here? Maybe we can go around the side. Boom. Let's go. I've got a feeling we're not supposed to be going in like this. Damn. Try a different approach to a difficult situation. Interesting. But I'm not sure if we're supposed to just be stealthing this up. The body shield did not last terribly long. tried melee him it just didn't go off I'm not entirely sure this is the way we're supposed to be playing these missions I've got to be honest Goblin seems pretty beast. It's a lot of damage. Let's go. Get these guns reloaded here. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Must be upstairs, right?
Not going amazingly well, this. Why am I being shot? I've just surrendered. Weird. Boom. Let's go. Don't move, Chase. Stay quiet. Play low. Wait for my signal. Not before. You CIA types are all the same. And this one? <laughs> Troublemaker. What's going on in there? We have a visitor. Walked right into the lion's den. Alone. Uninvited. Maybe this one works for a rival, huh? Or maybe Pantheon is trying to squeeze us. We came to you, Isaiah. We learned the truth one way. <laughs> Another. Go ahead. Well, look at that. You're a long way from home, Case. This man is extremely dangerous. Kill him immediately. I mean, Whoa, he knows who we are. Nice, let's go. No ammo. Oh, damn. Need a gun. Bastards don't even recognize him. Not that it would save him. Got him. I will say this year it's got a very James Bond esque feel to this game. I can't put my finger on it, but it's just. Uh, it's very Golden Eye esque. Oh, days. How sick is that? Dead. 
we get him? Let's get out of here, guys. Oh. That was run me over, dude. Let's go. Time you take me to this safe house of yours. Got word from Case. Savati Dumas agreed to join us at the Rook, so we're two for two. I'm returning from Munich with Felix Newman. Newman's cut from a different claw, a brutal Stasi enforcer and a tech genius. He used to be a pain in the CIA's ass. That was before he gave the middle finger to the Stasi and defected to West Germany. Newman claims he's moved on from a life of violence and doesn't even arm himself anymore. But one way or the other, he couldn't turn down a chance to stick it to the CIA once again. He'll get that opportunity soon. He's gonna try to break into Langley's network and find out where they're holding Russell Adler. Still haven't warmed up to that sev yet, but hey, at least we didn't get killed in our sleep. There we have it, another job well done. Admission two of the Black Ops campaign done and dusted. I will say the missions and the layout of this game feel very, very different to Password Dishes of Call of Duty. And so far, I am thoroughly enjoying it. If you have enjoyed today's video, comment, like, subscribe as we're fast approaching. 2k subs and i hope to see you in the next part of this illustrious campaign